Hello everybody, welcome to the sound test room. Today we're going to take a look at Analog Lab 2 uh, from Artoria. Okay, so uh, the Grand Tour, I'm going to call it the Grand Tour because I'm going to do, it's like a massive, a massive sound test there for, for lots and lots of the instruments and stuff that are inside, uh, are inside Analog Lab 2. So Analog Lab 2 is, is an incredible, is an incredible achievement really. Uh, it comes shipped for free if you've got one of the Artoria keyboards, the uh, uh, controller keyboards. Um, I'm not using a, a, a controller keyboard, I'm using a, an 88 note MIDI controller. And uh, I have a sound selected here from, you will see, the Synclavier. Uh, and it contains way over 5,000 presets, that's 5,000 sounds. Now, if you actually own the instrument as well, also, uh, you will be able to access and edit the parameters of that instrument and also, it's kind of like a big massive container. You don't need to own any of the, any of the Artoria instruments individually to have analog lab and you still get access to the 5,000 sounds. Some control, uh, like here, will be mapped for you automatically. So if I just... So this is where you can select different sounds. So we've got the Sem there, we've got the Selena there. So if we click on Selena there, you will see that it'll change through this. If we click on the piano. So you get the idea, you click on any of the instruments and you get access to the sounds, but where we want to go is, is into the uh, browser section. Uh, and I'm, what I'm going to do to make this uh, easier for you to see is I'm going to get rid of the, the controller and the actual keyboard because we don't really need that. Now this is where you're going to spend uh, your time. This is the amazing, the amazing, amazing part of Analog Lab. Um, so here we have uh, different ways we can filter our sounds. We can have types, so we've got bass, brass, FM, guitar, keys, etc. Banks, factory, original, templates, user, which would be mine, for instance. Uh, then you have different characteristics. So, for instance, if you want ambient sound, if you want, like, um, say, strings, and then we want ambient, and it'll give you all these. And if we go, we've got 46 sounds selected there. Uh, and then we can we can you know we can port down what we can say we digital so there you go but let's just stick with ambient there and let's click on the analog lab so this is a multi that's come up there so for instance that wouldn't be a multi so it would just be one sound so you get the idea so for instance, if we like a multi is that that would be called analog lab, it will design that multi sort of thing. I'll show you how to set the multis up and stuff, which are absolutely amazing. Then further on down, we have playlists. Playlists are brilliant. Uh, for instance, if we pick on this Artorias picks, they've designed a playlist for you. And there's one I've started to play with there. So I put three sounds into my playlist. Now you can call your playlist anything you like, and you can create a new playlist anytime just by clicking on that, entering the name of the playlist. Uh, so that's that's how you pick your playlists, basically. I'm going to have to create one now. Uh, let's see. Doug's new list. Okay, I'll go into that there. And then all I need to do is say, let's pick some sounds here. Let's go with this CS80 Farfisa mix, which you can see is a multi. And I'm going to put that into Doug's new list there okay and we can click on that oh hang on a minute what have i done here what have i done here dogs new list enter there you go and i'm going to drop cs84 fees mix into dogs new list and if i click on that the only thing in there will be my phone so you can see how cool it is you can build up out of you've got five thousand sounds here uh, but it's much, much, much deeper than that. Much deeper. So let's have a quick look at multis while we're here. 
Um, if like, let me get no. Let's tell you what. Let me get back into an ordinary sound. So let's go to Koto Stream once again. Right. So this is a CS80 sound now. Just while we're here, you can choose um, either by type. Let's see, so you can see that's a guitar type there, or by your sound designer. Okay. Or by a bank. So it's in a factory bank, and then you have the originals, and then user. Okay, so we'll go to that. Or by instrument. So I like the instrument because I like to see what instrument it's it's preset is being taken from. So. so say for instance I like that sound. Okay, and I'm gonna make I'm gonna make a new multi. So I'll just click on that there. And then I can see that my CS80 is there. And now I'm gonna just quickly so hold on a sec we can drop that one in there I don't like that Oh, that's the master volume. So we can control the level of both parts, obviously. Let's get a better sound in that. Which bank one? Galaxy Slicer was a multi I set up earlier. So anyway, you get the idea. You can build up any any two sounds you like as, as, as like a multi, and then you can save it as a new multi just by... Uh, clicking on this there and then you can put save as and then you can save your sound Very basic saving principles there nothing spectacularly difficult so MIDI is good this means I can split like if I want the galaxy sound at the bottom and the so at the moment now I have my Very cool. So I can split my keyboard anywhere I like, and it will be remembered. Okay, so let's try this. <laughs> Say for instance we've got that sound what we can then do if we want to is we can add effects okay so here we have a delay already added and then if we wanted to we could choose something else there let's choose a flanger and let's uh, go back to our tracks mix there and let's take out the delay of from both <laughs> Let's put the flange in for both. And then we can make adjustments as well. And so on and so forth until you're happy with the sound. Um, then, then you're good to go. So, okay. So let's see, let's get back to our type. So the, the biggest uh, thing here is is the fact that you have like millions of millions, you have over 5,000 sounds. You're never gonna, you know, you're, it's unlikely you're gonna just sit there and scroll through 5,000 sounds. This is why we have the, the, the brilliant filtering options here that you can see. Um, so like, I'm just going to run through a few of the sounds. I'm going to turn out the mic as well. So let's start with some lead sounds. And let's start with uh, this one from the ARP 2600. And over here we have some information about it as well. 
Okay. Uh, so, okay. Also, as well, before I go on with sounds and stuff, that you know everything is fully, fully MIDI mappable to your your various controls and stuff. So, you can once you hit MIDI there, you can use your controller to scroll through and stuff like that. Okay, guys. So I'm going to turn out the microphone and I'm just going to run through a ton of sounds because they're just that's that's what you're going to buy this for, isn't it? Uh, the the sounds. <laughs> that's the crack. All right, guys. Here we go. If you see this little link here, that means that that sound is is a, is a multi is a, is a multi sound. If you make adjustments, you can you can automatically just save as whatever you like by hitting that one there. Okay. see there I've just hit the little button in the corner there that takes me to access because I have the Synclavier V <coughs> Synclavier V sorry I can now make adjustments to that particular sound with the actual instrument itself so I can uh, use this to open up sorry open up the top and then I can also change <laughs> like a and you can check you can close that there and get back to your browser it acts like a, a a control center as well for any of the other artorial instruments you might own any other of the, the the v collection stuff so that's very cool as well because it just means that everything is contained in one place you know and as you can see at the moment it's running as a standalone instrument obviously it's a vst as well okay so let's just carry on with the sounds <laughs> Thank you. 
Like I said, it comes with it, this comes packaged with any of the Artoria keyboards, like a MIDI controller keyboard. So I mean, it's brilliant. But you can buy it separately. I think it's eighty nine euros or something, which is incredible value considering you get five thousand odd sounds uh, to play with. And I like what I like also as well is the fact that I can select uh, in my in my search field by instrument. So if we like pick that pick lead, but let's take that off. So just for the Selena. We can scroll down and we can see that there is 147 patches uh, presets from the Selena. So if we go into this one. Just created a new multi there. So if I just quickly nip into multis, and the user bank. <laughs>
there you go so you can see well it's okay ba back to the back to the presets Modular and modular is, is, is just awesome. The actual instrument is incredible. Um, let me take a look at it here. There, there is an absolute, you know, incredible amount of control. I just have to wait. See, it says not responding. Don't worry, it is. It's just loading up the instrument. But uh, yeah, if you like programming synthesizers, then yeah, you're going to be very, very happy with the Arturia <laughs> Modular V. Any second now, any se there we go. So you can see it's a massive, massive instrument. Now don't forget, you have to have, you'd have to own Modular V to get access to the uh, actual editing parameters that you have uh, here. Uh, but just the point is that you can. I have no idea if this is gonna do anything. Anyway, if you, if you know how to program modulars, which I honestly don't, uh, that's how you do it if you want to. And then, of course, exactly the same. You can save that preset, your adjusted preset, anywhere you like. And then you like, so it, it, if you've got a bunch of sounds in modular that you love, then the way to get them here is to just uh, build them in modular and then you can drop them into one of your playlists, which makes life super, 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 super simple. But I love the effects here. <laughs> Check out modular leads. All right, 
bad guys. Obviously, I haven't got time to run through all of them. There's too many, but like you can see that it's incredible. 5,000 odd presets from all of the all of the instruments available uh, in the in the Artoria software uh, collection there. So you can see what you get. 17 instruments, absolutely fantastic. Um, you don't need to do that. You can just select, like I said, you could select, say for instance, we're going to Jupiter 8. There you go. And it lets you know which instruments is selected. So we select the Jupiter 8. And there are the, there are the actual presets for the Jupiter 8. <laughs> just scroll through the JPA presets that are available in Analog Lab, which is very, very, very cool indeed. So, okay, guys, hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, if you have liked the video, visit us at thesoundtestroom.com. Um, yeah, um, subscribe to the channel, and I hope you've enjoyed this Artoria Analog Lab 2. Incredible value for money, fantastic. If you've already bought one of their keyboard instruments, you'll get this for free for free uh, but it's only 89 euros and it gives you a massive selection of sounds from all their all their instruments incredible all right guys i shall see you later